So I think I have finally figured out how to present and record GS Pro and the camera and the stats. And it's been actually a nightmare. And if you've watched my channel, you'll have seen me in the last few weeks go through a bunch of different changes of the configuration of where the different screens are, what resolution they're at, low, high. Um, I know I've been uploading at 1080, but you can obviously tell that the original videos are quite low, some of them. And then GS Pro and the recordings sometimes together, sometimes separately, will skip when they like zoom into the holes or do flyovers. And that's partly because my computer sucks and is really old. And I have a GTX 970, which is honestly the cheapest and best thing that I could afford that was an upgrade from nothing because I didn't even have a GPU. And so I can run GS Pro pretty good. But so here's the kicker. When I first started, I had GS Pro and then all the cameras running separately with memory cards of their own. And I had to sync all the video up and layer it on top of each other. And that was a pain. I downloaded OBS Studio and set up all of the cameras to connect through capture cards, whether it was um, the GoPro through a USB capture and then the um, iPhone through a HDMI capture. And so I had those two plugged into the computer, also running GS Pro, also running OBS Studio, and I was getting some pretty bad lag, although the GTX 970 was handling things pretty good. And so the solution that I decided to come up with was leave GS Pro running by itself and then run that HDMI into another capture card and take all of those and take them out of the original computer and put them into a laptop. So I take everything out of the gaming computer and just let it run the game as best as it can. And I've optimized the GPU to um, allow GS Pro whatever resources it wants because it's the only thing running on this computer. So now it runs pretty smooth and I'm playing the game and I'm pretty happy with the gameplay and the graphics. I can stay on medium most of the time and uh, it looks fine and it runs smooth. But then I notice all the videos I'm uploading recently have been choppy and it starts smooth. And then you can see that me in the corner and also the game are choppy when the graphics get intensive. So away from the gaming computer was now causing this other issue of the OBS Studio overrunning its resources on this laptop I was using. And so I got a new laptop. Um, I'm just borrowing these from work. I work in IT. So I switched out an older one, grabbed a slightly newer one, upgraded it, put all my stuff into it, got the audio working, tested it out today, and I'll show a little clip here, but I think I finally figured out the settings in OBS Studio, the quality of all the resolutions that need to be, the resolution that the game needs to be, and uh, Aberdeen at sunset was a little dark on my settings, so I just got to go ahead and mess with those new lighting settings for all the courses and get them optimized, because mine tend to come out a little dark on my screen. But other than that, I really pray to God I finally figured out how to do OBS Studio in general, because I was new to that, do golf simulation, because I'm new to that, and keep it under a million dollars because GPUs, computers, everything is so expensive. And I've been trying to do it on a dirt cheap budget. And so far, this is about as close as I get. And it's still a struggle. So let me know when the new videos start coming out. I'll put a description in there that these are the ones that hopefully have it all figured out. And uh, we'll see if... I finally did it good enough that uh, I'm proud of what I put out there on the channel. If you're uh, someone who's thinking about subscribing, I'm trying to get to a thousand. 
get some monetization, then I can buy a gaming computer and everything will be great. So if you want to help out with that, click the red button and you'll see courses, course uploads, updates, um, side note version 1.3.3 just came out uh, today, I believe. And today's Wednesday and uh, it had a bunch of fixes as well for the 1.3. Uh, original update so go get that download and uh, let me know in the comments how you're liking everything